What a spectacular day, Rex. Here we are at Brandywine Creek State Park. Team Fire Chicken out with a one-stroke lead over Team Equipped. Par three, here we go. They're gonna play along with Stone Wall here. This is a, a famous, famous site, the Battle Creek Battleground, I mean the Brandywine Creek Battlegrounds here. This is where the Revolutionary War was fought. Yeah. And can you believe there's flying discs on the Revolutionary War there battlefield here? Ooh, he just cleared that tree. He went right, but he's coming back left. See if he's gonna make it over the wall or not. Nope, he stays to the right. Good distance though. Okay. All right, team fire chicken. Here's Anthony's first shot. John, you can really tell how warm it is. These guys are short sleeve shirts on. Amazing, amazing. Oof. That is straight as an arrow. Yeah, it's really nice to see these. These are amateur players. These are advanced AMs, and they're throwing the disc like that. You know, and it's, uh, that's a pro shot. They've got some yeah. skills. Okay, here's Jeff. His first toss. He's a good rip too. A little bit to the right. It should fade back left. That's why you have a partner here, Rex, that's right. you know, with these doubles, that first <laughs> drive. You weren't, I don't think you're going to do much better than that. All right, here's Tom from Team Equip, his second throw. You can see Tommy shooting over the wall. He just clears it. Looks like he tickled the chains a little bit there, too. These guys hail from Kennett Square. They've been playing at Anson Nixon. Oh, oh. man. Good I'll tell you, let's, let's take another look at this. You can... You can see he just clears that stone wall and then bang, tickles those chains. He just didn't have a good line, so it, he had to, had to go with what he had. He made the most of it, though, didn't he? Yep. Get it. Ooh, a little roll away. Yeah, go for it. This is where some strategy comes in here, because, I mean, that, that's, a, you could, that's a makeable putt, so yep. he should be going for this shot here. They get it. Oh, he was very ah. aggressive. Well, it looks like they're both going to three out on this hole, which is par. Let's see how these putts come. Ah, wow. Now he put the pressure on his partner here, John. He's, <laughs> his partner's got to make this putt. Yeah. And he does. No problem there. Excellent. There's our great cameraman in the background there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Team Fire Chicken at 84 and Team Equipped at 85. They're just one stroke apart, John. It's been a good battle. It's been a real good battle here. We're on the uh, second basket here, 387 feet. This has a little bit of a crest over the hill, so you really have to finesse this. Oh, he's using yeah. a thumber? Yeah, it looks like a thumber. Uh, kind of a sidearm uh, uh, hatchet shot there. It didn't. Uh, it's a creative shot. Yeah. That's more traditional, straight away. You can see the top oh, of the basket. Oh, it's going right what? to the basket. Oh, oh it hit the basket. I think it did. It hit the turn. basket. Hit the front oh, of the basket and got bounced turn. out. Like Unbelievable. Oh, my God. He's excited. He should and be. It's a great Jeff. shot. He's going right to left. He's probably parked as well. Yeah, he's playing a little more traditional from the uh, right to left shot. Yep. Versus Andy, who went right for it. Battle work. Yeah, there it is. Drop. He's There's got good off. distance there. Yep. Probably carried a little long, but it's it's gonna be right there. Well, he had to stop. It's good stop. Yeah, he heard somebody <laughs> else. Okay, there's his approach. Parked. Here's where the doubles come in now. Here's where the partner should be going for Just it. He knows that his, the other disc is right there. Oh, oh he nice did. run. It's good. It's a good move. Exactly. He's, his partner knows that uh, he's there, so he can just fire away. Wow. Oof. Tommy. Tommy's good better than that. He yeah, usually can make those putts. All right, it's Andy's turn. All right. Andy made the drive. He made the putt. Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't need a partner. I don't know if he needs a partner <laughs> on that one. Okay, and fire chicken is out. Cleanly. 
So the team equipped picked up the stroke there with the two, and it's all knotted up here. Okay. Going into go. the third hole. Yes, indeed. Basket three. This is a par three, 285 feet. This goes right along the stone wall here. You're going to see the shot. You actually have to throw it over the stone wall to the right. Look at this shot. Oof. Looks like that headwind's pushing him to the right a little bit. It's deceiving out there. You know, you don't see the, uh, the tall grass moving at all. But this course is so wide open that you could pick up wind pockets at any given spot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost always windy. And here it's pretty calm. It's relatively calm today, I mean, compared to what it usually is. So. Look at the skies. What a beautiful day. Mm. And that's got it all over, I think. Let's see. A little long. See? And that's the, that's the problem right there. Yeah. You have to play it further to the right, but you've got to stay up above the wall. Let's see what Jeff's got here. Jeff kept it right, but he looks like he kept it too far right. He could have used a more stable disc there. And Anthony, there, we have a thing called mulligans during this tournament. It's a fundraiser that uh, Bill Yerd uses, so he decides to use his mulligan on this shot. Oh, that's, that's why he's shooting it. Okay, makes sense. And, it, and he really got the most out of it there. Look at this. Look at this shot for, yeah, a, that, that, for a two. That was worth it then, that mulligan. That is the way to use a mulligan that's right there. Let's take a look at this again. Look at his pumps. One, two, and three. He has a straight line right at, the, right at the pole. He didn't come outside those chains at all. Excellent. I'm impressed with these amateurs, Rex. Yep. They're playing good disc golf. And Tommy gets his shot there, so. All right, so Team Fire Chicken is at 89, Team Equipped at 90. So it's, uh, it's right there. It's neck and neck. Fire Chicken didn't like being tied <laughs> up. This is the hole called the beauty. This is a big downhill hole. It's a dog leg to the right. Mm -hmm. There's Brandywine Creek runs right through it, as you can see at the bottom. And ooh, he let go late on that hole. He's going to cut it, cut through, and it's well, not a bad place to ah, be. Though. You know what? Yeah, exactly, John. He's parked on this side of the creek. And see Mary down, Mary Redheart doing yeah. her work down there. A spotter, <laughs> one of our great volunteers at Brandywine. All right, this is Anthony's first shot here. This is a long yes. shot. He's trying to get yes. over the trees. Yes. Wow. He's over it. Let's see what happens here. Uh, does he make it? No. Oh, he does make he it. He did make it across Unbelievable. the Unbelievable. Yeah, he sent it a long way. These AMs have really got some arms on them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's amazing. You know, it's funny because the pros, they sort of, uh, they grit their teeth a little bit. They say the disc technology, if they had that disc technology when they started playing, <laughs> And that's the thing with these young guys. They just they, they take advantage of the great models, the great molds, and they just haul off, and they're getting an unbelievable distance. Yeah. And you can see there, he stayed, on, he stayed up as well on, on the other side of the creek. And here's Andy's shot. Andy's going to try a little different. A little flick here. He tilted it. That should flatten out for him and wrap around. Look at that shot. Uh, I think Andy's played this hole before with a shot like that. Oh. Uh. Let's see the... Oh, uh, we got the signal yeah, from Greg. <laughs> Greg's telling us all about that shot. He He's went going swimming. upstream, huh? <laughs> all right, here's Tom. His second throw. Now they each get a shot from the best best drive, and you can see his partner can really go at it now because his other because. Uh, he left it right underneath the basket, so he's going to go right at these chains. Oh! Right by it. Almost at it. Let's take another look at this. Yep. From another angle. You can s yep. Basket high. He was right there. That was a good run. Now here's Anthony here from the other side of the creek. Oh! Oh, oh great up. Now Jeff can just run at it. I'm a little conservative there. Let's go a little late. And looks like they're both going to three out. Yep, so Fire Chicken will hold on to their one stroke lead here as these guys putt out on the beauty. And you know what comes after the beauty, don't you, Rex? Oh, uh, yes, it's got to be the beast. It is the beast. Okay, so the, again, as John mentioned, we're, we're still one, one stroke apart.